Morning, Deb. You've, um, you've got a, uh... Oh, don't get me started. Hey, since we are made of sandstone, I guess that makes you a sandwich. Ha ha, back off before I turn you into a frog. If you're a sandwich, what am I? Grotesque. Boy, you ain't no oil painting yourself. Seriously, what am I? You're a grotesque, and grotesques aren't anything but bits of sand and rock lumped together. But I can't just be bits of sand and rock. If I were broken up and all my bits were dumped in a pile, I wouldn't exist. But my bits of sand and rock still would. What more could you be? Surely you're not a lump of sandstone and something else. If we're talking about you, we're only talking about one thing, and what you are is a lump of sandstone. Think how weird it would be to say, here's Pete, oh, and here's his lump of sandstone. Or, hi Pete, what are you two up to today? Surely I only have to count you once. I am not just a lump of sandstone. I am a work of art. Ooh, fancy. Just because busloads of tourists take photos of you, don't let it go to your head. Nothing new comes into existence just because of some relational property. Sheesh, Deb. Don't you think artworks are real? Artworks are just bits of paint or stone or whatnot to which people stand in relations of gawking reverence, obtuse criticism, forgery and overpricing. Deb, your cynicism is getting in the way of good philosophy. There has to be a difference between all my bits in a pile and all my bits arranged in this suitably arranged fashion. Suitably arranged? You're just worried about the special composition problem. You want to know when many things added together compose a new object and when they are just a pile of old junk. Yes, I say my arrangement makes for something new. But even piles have an arrangement. Why should we count your arrangement as special enough to say that something new has come into existence? Notice that whether I persist through time and whether the bits of sandstone of which I am composed persist through time depend on different conditions obtaining. Oh? Yes, I am the same grotesque today that was put up here over 50 years ago. But my sandstone has weathered and changed during that time. If I am the same thing but my sandstone is not, then I can't be the same thing as my sandstone. Ta-da! OK, OK, let's think this through. Suppose that Rill, the stonemason, has been replacing bit by bit all your bits of sandstone and has put all the replaced bits in a box marked Sandy. Now we're talking extreme makeover time. You would say that with each replacement she makes, you still exist and are the same grotesque. Am I right? Of course. Imagine now that all your sandstone has been replaced and all your old bits are in the Sandy box. Suppose then that Rill decides to take all those bits from the Sandy box and reconstruct them into a grotesque just like you. Let's call this grotesque Sandy. Now Sandy has exactly the same form that you originally had, same arrangement and the same matter. Wouldn't Sandy have as much claim to being identical with the original Pete as you? Or would there be two of me? Hello, handsome. Hello. Pete, you're multiplying faster than a rabbit on red cordial. A world overrun with grotesques is a grotesque world. I think I have to stick to my original position and say what you are is a lump of sandstone, nothing more, nothing less. Listen up, witchy poo. I am not. Deb! Whoopsies. I think I might just have refuted myself.